Saturn, the jewel of our solar system. This gas giant is instantly recognizable even from millions of miles away. Why? It's rings, of course. These rings are not solid structures. They are made up of countless particles, ranging in size from tiny grains to massive boulders. Imagine a cosmic ballet with countless icy dancers swirling around a giant planet. That's Saturn's rings. These icy particles are mostly water ice, with a sprinkle of rocky material. They reflect sunlight, creating a stunning spectacle. The rings are incredibly thin, too, despite their vast width. If you could compress them, they'd appear like a sheet of paper. The rings are not just beautiful, they are a mystery. How did they form? How long have they been there? These questions have puzzled astronomers for centuries. But with each new observation, with each new mission, we get closer to understanding these cosmic wonders. The origin of Saturn's rings is a tale shrouded in mystery. Scientists have proposed two main theories. The first theory suggests the rings are remnants of Saturn's formation. Some material never made it into Saturn itself. Instead, it remained trapped in orbit, forming the rings. The second theory proposes a more violent origin. A moon or comet was ripped apart by Saturn's gravity. The remnants settled into orbit, forming the rings. Saturn is not the only planet with rings. Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune also have ring systems. However, Saturn's rings are by far the most prominent. They are also the brightest. This brightness is due to the composition of the rings. The icy particles reflect sunlight very efficiently. It's like having billions of tiny mirrors orbiting Saturn. Interestingly, despite their brightness, Saturn's rings are not visible to the naked eye. You need a telescope to see them. This is because the rings are incredibly thin. When viewed from Earth, they appear edge-on for a brief period every few years. During this time, they practically disappear from view. This interplay of brightness and thinness makes Saturn's rings a fascinating subject of study. It's a reminder that even the most obvious features of our solar system can hold hidden complexities. Our understanding of Saturn's rings has evolved over centuries. In 1610, Galileo Galilei, the father of modern astronomy, was the first to observe Saturn's rings with a telescope. However, his telescope was not powerful enough to resolve them clearly. He described them as ears or handles on either side of the planet. It wasn't until 1655 that Christian Huygens, a Dutch astronomer, correctly identified them as rings. Using a more powerful telescope, he observed that these ears were actually a flat, thin disk encircling the planet but not touching it. These early observations paved the way for centuries of further study. Today, thanks to the advancements in technology, we have a much clearer picture of Saturn's rings. Saturn's rings are not a single uniform structure. They are actually a complex system of numerous ringlets separated by gaps. These gaps are not empty spaces. They are regions where the density of ring particles is significantly lower. The formation of these ringlets and gaps is influenced by Saturn's moons. These moons, through their gravitational pull, shepherd the ring particles. This shepherding effect creates the distinct ringlet structures. One of the most prominent gaps in Saturn's rings is the Cassini division. This gap, named after its discoverer, Giovanni Domenico Cassini, is a 4,800 kilometer wide region between the A ring and the B ring. The Cassini division is thought to be carved out by the gravitational influence of Saturn's moon Mimas. Beyond the familiar bright rings lies the Phoebe ring. It is much larger and tilted at an angle, named after Saturn's moon Phoebe, its material source. Phoebe orbits in the opposite direction. The Phoebe ring highlights Saturn's dynamic ring system. Recent studies suggest that Saturn's rings may be much younger than previously thought. Some scientists now believe that the rings formed relatively recently, perhaps only 100 million years ago. This is a stark contrast to the age of the solar system, which is around 4.6 billion years old. This theory is based on observations of the mass and composition of the rings. The rings are surprisingly bright and composed mostly of pure water ice. Over billions of years, the rings should have been darkened and contaminated by interplanetary dust. One explanation for the ring's youthful appearance is a catastrophic event. 
A collision between two of Saturn's icy moons could have created a vast debris field. This debris over time would have spread out and settled into the rings we see today. Saturn, like Earth, is tilted on its axis. This tilt, known as axial tilt, is responsible for the seasons on our planet. As Earth orbits the Sun, different hemispheres receive varying amounts of sunlight throughout the year. Saturn's axial tilt is about 27 degrees, which is similar to Earth's tilt of 23.5 degrees. This tilt has a dramatic effect on how we see Saturn's rings from Earth. Over Saturn's 29 and a half year orbit around the Sun, our perspective of the rings changes dramatically. At times we see the rings edge on, they appear as a thin line, almost invisible against the backdrop of space. At other times we see the rings fully open, revealing their full glory. This ever-changing perspective adds to the allure of observing Saturn. Every 14 to 15 years a remarkable event occurs. Earth passes through Saturn's ring plane. This means that for a brief period we view the rings edge on from our perspective. This alignment, known as a ring plane crossing, offers a unique opportunity for astronomers to study the rings in unprecedented detail. During a ring plane crossing, the glare from Saturn's rings is significantly reduced. This allows scientists to observe faint features that are normally obscured. Ring plane crossings are also significant because they coincide with Saturn's equinoxes. During an equinox, the sun shines directly over Saturn's equator. This creates unique lighting conditions that reveal subtle details in the ring structure. Saturn's rings are not just visually stunning, they are also a scientific goldmine. By studying the composition of the rings, scientists can learn about the early solar system. The rings act like a time capsule, preserving material from the era of planetary formation. Spectral analysis of the rings reveals that they are composed primarily of water ice. However, there are trace amounts of other materials, such as rocky silicates and organic compounds. These trace elements provide clues about the conditions in the early solar system. The rings also have a tenuous atmosphere. This atmosphere is composed mainly of molecular oxygen, which is constantly being replenished by the interaction of sunlight with the icy ring particles. This interaction creates a dynamic environment with charged particles and electromagnetic fields influencing the behavior of the rings. Our understanding of Saturn's rings took a giant leap forward thanks to two iconic space missions, Voyager and Cassini. The Voyager spacecraft, launched in the late 1970s, provided the first close-up images of Saturn's rings. These images revealed the intricate structure of the rings with thousands of ringlets and gaps. The Cassini mission, which orbited Saturn from 2004 to 2017, revolutionized our knowledge of the ring system. Cassini's instruments were able to study the rings in unprecedented detail, revealing their composition, temperature, and even their age. One of Cassini's most remarkable discoveries was the presence of propeller structures in the rings. These propeller-shaped disturbances are created by small moonlets just a few kilometers across, embedded within the rings. These moonlets, too small to clear a gap in the rings, create these distinctive propeller-like patterns as they orbit Saturn. Cassini, Enki, and the F-ring. Saturn's rings are a tapestry of ringlets and gaps. The Cassini division is influenced by Saturn's moon Mimas. The Enki gap is carved out by the moon Pan. The F-ring is a narrow, clumpy structure. Prometheus and Pandora influence the F-ring's dynamism. Each ringlet and gap shows the complex interplay of gravity and orbital dynamics. As majestic as they are, Saturn's rings are not eternal. Observations suggest that the rings are slowly but surely disappearing. The icy particles are being bombarded by solar radiation and micrometeoroids. This bombardment erodes the rings, causing them to lose material over time. Scientists estimate that the rings could disappear completely within the next 100 million years. This may seem like an incredibly long time, but in cosmological terms, it's a mere blink of an eye. The ephemeral nature of Saturn's rings makes them all the more precious. They are a reminder that even the most awe-inspiring celestial objects are subject to the relentless march of time. 
Saturn's rings are a testament to the beauty and mystery of our universe. They are a cosmic puzzle challenging us to unravel their secrets. While we have learned much about their composition, structure and evolution, many questions remain unanswered. How exactly did the rings form? Are they truly a recent phenomenon or are they remnants of the early solar system? What can the rings tell us about the formation of planets and the conditions in the early solar system? These questions continue to inspire scientists and stargazers alike. Saturn's rings, with their ethereal beauty and enduring enigma, remind us that the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content.